Geo Stabilization family, welcome back to High Viz Health. I'm your host, Dustin Udowich, Director of Lifestyle and Performance. In the spirit of looking out for our family, let's talk about how Ronald McDonald looks really similar to the clown from It. Have you ever actually looked at Ronald McDonald? I'm assuming the reason he's not in commercials anymore is because he was arrested for murder. Maybe he got convicted for poisoning millions of people not against their will. But I could definitely see the guy stabbing somebody at a red box outside of Kroger. He painted his mouth red and you keep showing up for fries. Okay, while we're here, let's talk about something else very pertinent to the family. I know this because I've been traveling around seeing a bunch of the crews and I'm seeing a little hiccup in something we do. That's our breakfast option. As first responders who were known for doing the highest quality work in the industry, we must be ready each and every day to perform. You know what makes it harder to perform? Weak ass breakfast options. Poor nutrition first thing in the morning is gonna sabotage your whole day. Let's talk about four foods to stay away from. Let's avoid dragging through a day where it's hard to stay focused, hard to stay productive, hard to be efficient. I'll then give you four ideas you can use to jumpstart a much better breakfast. Let's get started with four foods that are gonna lead you to an energy crisis, screw up your metabolism, and bring about weight gain and disease. Number one, donuts. I get it, they're delicious. This is why we have to change our relationship with food. If you think about the 14 seconds of joy you get from eating a donut, you're probably gonna find your way to them often. If you think about how you feel for the 14 hours after eating one, you probably won't be so enticed. Donuts can have 30 plus grams of sugar, sounds like an insulin spike, and a nap you'll have to skip because you're working. The spike in insulin is also going to leave you hungry soon after breakfast. What do you think you're going to want to eat at this point? Probably another donut. We're moving on. Number two, a biscuit. Maybe with a little sausage worked in the mix? Let's see. Tons of fat, tons of sodium, tons of nitrates. Let me rephrase that for you. Tons of hypertension, tons of stroke, tons of cancer. Number three, colorful sugar-filled cereals. More of the same. Tons of sugar leads to a ton of problems. Number four, a bagel with the works. You've just come off eight hours of sleep. Your body has really put that work in to restore everything. You're feeling good. You're prepped for a healthy day. Then you grab a bagel loaded with cream cheese or butter or both or both plus extra cheese. Most bagels are 400 calories of useless starch. They're refined carbs and they're going to leave you tired and at risk for disease. All right, let's get down to some good options. Now prepare, because you are gonna feel a hell of a lot better when you eat this stuff. Don't go getting all high on life and reward yourself with a cheap meal when you lose a pound. And by cheap meal, you really mean cheap day, which might end up going on for two solid weeks. All right, there's a time to celebrate, and I'm all about that, but let's get a little discipline in the works. All right, let's talk about four great choices for breakfast. Number one, oatmeal. Here's a food that's gonna leave you with sustained energy, lower cholesterol, and keep you feeling full for a while. And I should add that they're very awesome when it comes to antioxidants as well. Speaking of that, berries, number two. You're gonna keep the antioxidants coming with these bad boys. Let's stick to blueberries, raspberries, strawberries are a great choice, blackberries. All of those have lower sugar than most other fruits, yet they're higher in fiber than most other fruits. In fact, raspberries and blackberries each provide 8 grams of fiber per cup. Berries have been shown to reduce all kinds of blood markers and inflammation. They're also going to help the health of the cell lining in your blood vessels. Okay, number three, nuts. A great addition to your breakfast. They're filling. They've been shown to improve heart disease, risk factors, reduce insulin resistance, and decrease inflammation. Also, all types of nuts are high in magnesium and potassium. Huge plus for sure. Okay, let's get to number four, round out this list. Get some healthy fats on some Ezekiel bread. Couple options to put on that bread. Avocados and nut butters, great choice. Hard healthy fats and dietary fiber will keep you feeling full, which can keep you from overeating the rest of the day. In closing, let me say this. 
The days of thinking we were healthy because we got a Diet Coke with a quarter double heart pounder are far behind us. We know better. We know how bad food makes us feel. We know how it screws over all the people around us because they don't get the best that we got to offer. And we also know what's waiting for us on the back end of it all. Decreased energy levels, disease, looking like we just jogged the Daytona 500 after one flight of stairs. All right, look, you want a few more ideas, you want a customized plan, you want to get on the ball and make some lifestyle change, hit me up. Maybe you just want somebody to talk to when you make eye contact with cake. Either way, I am here for the GSI family. I appreciate you watching today, and we'll talk to you soon.